support from the United Nations for a security mission to restore order in the country. This comes more than a year after the president of Haiti was assassinated, forcing Haitians to endure a broken nation or flee the country. I want to bring in the former prime minister of Haiti now, Laurent Lamothe, for more on this. Thank you so much uh, for being with us today. Prime Minister, how dire is the situation in Haiti right now? Well, the situation is, is extremely difficult. Gangs are have taken over. Over 75% of uh, Haiti's capital is uh, controlled by gangs today. Uh, there is about 200 gangs, about 15,000 gang members that have taken the capital and, and put it under siege. And, uh, you know, fuel terminals are, are blocked. The situation is, is dire. Hospitals cannot open, clinics are closed, schools cannot open. It's, uh, you know, uh, Haiti needs help. For, yes, in short, they absolutely do. So the United Nations Security Council heard two resolutions drafted by the U.S. and Mexico this week. One, seeking to impose financial sanctions on criminals. The other, authorizing an international assistance mission to help improve security. How significant is this for Haiti as the nation faces a series of crises? And really, what kind of real-world impact could these resolutions have? Well, the first resolution... Um, penalizing those that are financing the gang will have positive effects in terms of deterrence. So it's going to deter people from continuing to finance the gangs. But ultimately, the gangs have also found you know, ways to finance themselves through kidnappings. Because right now, Port-au-Prince uh, has the highest per capita kidnapping rate in the world. And the gangs have raised over $30 million in kidnappings and also, the second activity is the fuel contraband, which they, they control the fuel resale. And just recently, they made over a million dollars in one day just by, by selling 30,000 gallons, which they sold at $35 per gallon. So, so that shows the challenge um, that, that the country is facing. On top of that, the, um, you know, sending troops to help, you know, I think one of the most efficient way to, to send the troops is is to work with an international task force, to work with the police force, reinforce the police, and equipping the police and the, the Haitian armed forces. Because today, one of the major problems is that they have no weapons. The police has no weapons to fight off the gangs. So it has to be a package approach, you know, helping the police, helping the army, sending the international troops to reinforce, and also an aid package to complement for the catastrophe as the humanitarian situation is deteriorating at, at an alarming rate. Well, thank you for, for putting all that out there for us. They certainly do need help there. Prime Minister Laurent Lamo, thank you. Thank you very much. Coming up here on ABC News Live, the new warning about drugs disguises.